But I was thinking about the concept of uh, perhaps a bit more like DBA, where you start instead of starting, let's say, with six unit, you start perhaps in, instead with eight units, and uh, you have lost the battle. Of course, it may depend on the scenario. In this scenario, for example, that the French lost if they if they didn't have three units left. So if they lost four units, they lost. Um, that in a just I don't know a, a, a normal scenario, or rather a scenario without any such limits. Perhaps if you start with eight units, but then the battle is over if you've lost, say, 50%, which actually, interestingly enough, of course, would be a way to speed up the battle. Uh, so you could have a larger number of units in play. So each turn would take longer, but there would be fewer turns, I would think, yes, because you would declare a winner sooner because if a side had lost 50%, then that's it. The battle's over. Uh, so lots of ideas to play with, um, but uh, the, the important thing is, is that overall I actually did enjoy it. And again, one of the one of the things you sort of think, well, why, why are you from all the, the rule sets that you played before, why are you going with such a simple, such a really really simple rule set um, that could definitely be understood by you know a child of ten, let's say. Um, and one of the things that I did have in mind was just like DBA. Um, well, DBA is considerably more complex than this, obviously. Um, but if it really was the case that battles could be pulled off in a very short period of time, then it would encourage uh, either me uh, and Abai or me and uh, when um, when there's no more pandemic rules, um, uh, me and Wilf or me and Wilf and Abai, whatever. Um, and uh, or also to me solo, I would love to. I would love to finally have a campaign, and if it has to be me solo doing the campaign, fine. But the thing with the campaign is you've got the map moves, and then you've got the battles. And unless you've got all the time in the world, the battles have to be short, very short. Otherwise, it'll drag on forever. So I like the idea. Um, I like the idea of if you were playing with another player, for example, you might have a session where you make map moves and you fight a battle and maybe you make some more map moves, um, you know, and the whole thing only takes, you know, a few hours. Uh, so anyway, so, but and it, but also uh, it's been a long time. Well, it's been five years, I, I think, because um, the last time I played with these uh, Napoleonic uh, 20 millimeters was when I played the one hour war games battle. Um, and... Uh, uh, it's been good to get them onto the table uh, uh, because I, they're, they're, they're splendid figures. And I do like the uh, Napoleonic period with all its different types of infantry and especially of cavalry. And um, also uh, it's been splendid to have an inaugural game in the uh, the new war game room here in Killian, upstairs, the, the official war game room. And... Um, Right, well, I think that's enough for now. I need to have my dinner, and uh, I say, here's to it.